Worthy Productions. I'm your host Keith Perry getting back at it again with another unboxing. <sighs> Let's see, what do we got today? Well I got two boxes. One is like one I've done before. It is a G Fuel box. Boom, G Fuel. I even marked off my address so you don't see it this time. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, so yeah, we will open that. I think I'm going to open this first because uh, I want to see, um, hopefully some people are going to join in here. I, I let a bunch of my homies know that I'm doing a live unboxing. The main event I'll do last, and that is a package. Yeah, I got a package from Greg Krellin, a.k.a. The Collector. And um, yeah, he is infamous in the soaping community. He, uh, he has the most soap stuff. Shoes, shirts, posters, soap ducks. You name it, if they made it, he's got it. And he sent me some. The only thing I know that's in here is a soap duck. He's been telling me he's going to send that to me uh, for a while now, so I'm really excited. He also said that there's going to be a, uh, a lot of stuff in here, um, something in here that he thought he would never give away. So I am stoked. Alrighty, well, let's see. Can you see the live chat? I'm going to do that. Live chat. Got it. Okay, so it should pop up uh, if people chat, I guess. I still don't really know what I'm doing with these uh, live videos on YouTube, but you know, they work out, I guess. Greg's here! Alright, dude. Well, uh,. Like I said, I'm going to open this G Fuel stuff first, in case uh, other people show up here. I got my trusty rock. Yeah! Yes! Worked yet again. Like a charm. Okay, so what do we got in here? It's not as exciting as my first G Fuel unboxing. I have more to come also, bro. Oh, fuck. That is good to know. I didn't get any collector's boxes this time, but I did get two tubs. I got the PewDiePie. G Fuel formula. This is the tub, so it has uh, 40 servings. Apparently, this one tastes kind of like a sour cherry. I love cherry. I love sour, so I'm excited. I haven't even tried this flavor yet. I don't think so. I'm excited to try it. Boom! These are my uh, my morning drinks at work, and I just sip on them all day. And then I got my favorite flavor so far, which is the sour blue chug rug. Hell yeah! This stuff is fucking delicious. Sour blue raspberry flavor, basically, and uh, I love it. And it turns it like a super cool light blue, almost like the same like light blue as on this box. I didn't realize there's a shadow here because I got my light behind my tripod with my phone, so you can see the shadow of my phone there. I'll try to figure out something better next time, I guess. Almost every time I've done an unboxing, it's been during the daytime. I couldn't wait to I couldn't wait to open this box from Greg, so it, it had to go down as soon as I got home from work today. All right, that being said, there's my stuff. Oh, did they send me? They sent me a, a new sticker too. Ooh, I like this sticker a lot. The last one they gave me was butterflies. This one's like fall with leaves. If you uh, put this somewhere at work too, fucking cool. Nice little bonus. All right, well, let me throw these back in the box. Let me take this box to work. Boom. G Fuel unboxing complete. All right, now to the main event. What I've been waiting for. What everyone else that I've been talking to has been waiting for. The soap. Soap box. All the way from Australia, from Melbourne. Greg is the founder and uh, admin of Melbourne Soapers on Facebook. So if you're into soaping, uh, go check out that Facebook group and join us. I'm on there. There's a bunch of other people. Mark, the Food Master. Uh, Ryan Brady, Daniel Gonzalez, all the people that I soap with are in that community, so go check it out. But here we are. Boom. Box. EMS. Customs. All that good jazz. Let's fucking rip that off. Get out of here. Customs packaging. Actually, that's not even a way to open the box. Okay. So the box has a lot of tape on the sides here. I don't know if the rock is going to work, to be honest. I, I was prepared. I got this pocket knife. I haven't even used it yet. Got it from my parents. Uh, Zion National Park that they uh, they gifted me for my birthday, so might be the first time I use it. But as I always do, let's see if we can open it up with just the rock. I also don't want to like damage the shit in here though, so 
I think I'm going to be safe, just safer with this box, and I am going to use a pocket knife. I came prepared like Boy Scouts, you know, be prepared. I used to have a Boy Scout pocket knife for the longest time. Oh shit, I didn't even see this. I think I did it when I opened it. It's even got my name on there. Keith. Hell yeah. Engraved. That's a hard name to find, like, at a gift shop, too. You don't see many, like, magnets or whatever, like, Disney World, the name Keith on it. I'll fucking tell you that from experience growing up and going on vacation. Always looking for my name. Not easy to find. All right, we got the blade ready. Let's rip it open. People still chatting. Live chat. Show me the chat. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, fuck yeah, we got King VR in here, too. Fuck yeah. He's got two movies up in here. I was literally just talking to Gaming Zart, and he said he was going to join, but maybe he got confused. Uh, could it it's happening right now? Okay. This box is uh, a little different than what the boxes we get here in the States. I'm trying to figure out how it even opens. I think I got. I got all the slits. Slitted. Slashing. Like Art the Clown stabbing people. Probably shouldn't do that. Might get uh, this video taken down. <laughs> All right, let's put the blade away, shall we? They might say I'm going against their community standards, like Mark Zuckerberg when you get sucked off on Facebook and like, ban your account for 30 days or whatever the hell they want to do. Remove your post. That's why I don't even post that much in my group anymore on Facebook. All right, here we go. Boom. Box is open. A lot of blue wrapping bubbles. It's actually really cool. I love the color blue, so that is red. All right. Bubbles. Oh! The main thing I knew I was getting here. The soap duck. Oh, my God. It even says soapshoes.com right on its little tail area there. Hatched September 19th. What the fuck? Greg, I don't know if you did that on purpose, if they all say that, but that is my birthday. So that is actually super sick. Soap duck hatched 9 September 19th. 919, September 19th. All right. He's got some like nose rings and his beak there. I guess, let me take it out of here so you can see it there. <laughs> this is cooler than I thought it was, dude. Thank you, Greg. Fuck yeah, I, I enjoy this already, man. This is so cool. It's honestly, yeah. It's a little bigger than I thought, too. Fucking righteous. Yeah, and it's like a rubber duck. It feels like slimy for some reason. Oh, yeah. But yeah, here we go. We got his nose rings. He's got a soap hat on backwards. Soap logo there. And the sticker. Man, that's cool. Fuck yeah, dude. Thanks, Greg. I don't know what is all over it, but it's getting on my fingers, so I'm gonna put it back in the back. Now. Maybe I'll like wipe it down with a little wet paper towel. Yeah. You have any idea what that would be? I guess it maybe because it's so old, it's like the material is just like sticky. I don't know. Just like the shoes, how they fall apart. <laughs> Oh, what's up, Mr. Orange Space Tang? Thank you for watching. Alright, what else we got in here? Oh, we got the Rubba Ducks official Rubba list. Now, I gotta get more ducks. Boom. Here we are. I like your shoot remedies. Well, thank you very much. I, uh, I don't think I've seen you commenting before, so that is cool. Thank you. I got, uh, Thank you for watching my videos. Super appreciate that. And I'm glad you enjoyed them. I have a lot of fun making them, that's for sure. I can barely hear. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. It's because I live by a freeway, so there's a lot of background noise. Thank you for telling me that. I will try to talk louder. Um, boom. I got some cool-ass soap uh, postcards here. We can actually mail these the fuck out. Oh yeah. That is sick. It's got like a hot little babe. There's like a fucking cat in the background. This thing is actually really cool. I'll have to take some pictures of all the stuff I get and post it as a community post. Not hating. Okay. 
Sick knife. Enjoy, bro. What's up? I don't like to be videos. Oh, yeah. I know you're not hitting. I, my friend Kevin told me this last time I did an unboxing. I, And I get it. There's literally a freeway right over the hill for me, so it, it drowns out my voice. Thank you for letting me know. I will try to talk louder. Um, what else we got? Oh, my God. There's so much stuff in here. Okay, cool. We got a... I think this is... Is this a sticker? Or is this just like an old... Can't tell if this is sick or not, but either way, fucking rad. Soap logo. Soap backwards was Dio's. Did that mean anything? Hmm. That is a good question that I am not sure of. Why oh, can't I see the chat anymore? What the fuck is going on? There we go. Look at the letters in the soap logo. Oh, Dio's. I see. Upside down like that. Not that I know of. From what I understood, soap stood for slide on anything possible. I could be wrong about that, but that's what I've always thought. <laughs> that's what I tell everyone. <laughs> oh shit, This there's a mini package in here. A mystery package. Let's see what the hell this is. I do not want to damage this, so let's uh, get that trusty knife back out here again. Get the trusty knife. Just be careful here. Don't want to damage any of the goodies. Don't want to use the serrated blade. No, thank you. All right, here we go. All right, just like that. Aha! Here we are. I knew there'd be some stickers in there. Hell yeah, dude. These stickers are sick. We got some like shoe fire stickers. Blue and orange. Orange is my favorite color. Blue is my second favorite color. So that is fucking cool. Oh, sick. We got some Healy stickers, two of those. Dude, Greg, you were not lying, dude. You really fucking hooked it up with all sorts of goodies here. Fuck yeah. All right. Greg, we got the stickers. We got the postcards. All right, what else we got? Let me start a pile so I can re-show the same stuff. All right. Go back to this first bag that I'm dipping into here. We got the rubber duck list. So are you? Are you some sutures? I used to own so on the better shoes. Oh yeah, I still have a couple pairs of soap shoes. I never had the Solomon Miss Mister Wilson's. I think they were called. I wanted those so bad. They had the uh, the grind plate in the middle, so you could do like soul grinds or like farfanugans or whatever the hell. Never had that. I did have like aggressive inlines, so I did those type of grinds back in the day. Solomon grind shoes. Yeah, dude, they were really cool. What do a pair of intercepts go for nowadays? Well, you can get those on eBay for like $800 now. It's fucking insane. But uh, I was able to buy like five, I think about four different pairs of soaps in 2018, and I got them from anywhere from like $100. Ten dollars, like down to like fifty dollars. I got some pretty good deals. I was in a couple bidding wars that I lost, but I was able to secure four pairs of soaps. Um, all three pairs of those soaps, I shredded them till they fell apart. Uh, the Voltars, I think they fell apart literally within the second day of me wearing them. Uh, I had some Cylons that lasted nine months. I think I did eleven edits with those shoes. Everyone was like, "How the hell are those shoes still not falling apart?" I don't know, but I literally wore them until they fell apart and uh, the only ones I still have that are surviving are the smoke which is gray smoke scabs and those ones have uh, like a better sole they have like the rubber uh, midsole instead of the white crumbly crap so those are still strong like I only wore those maybe like in four or five edits and then I got the epic grind shoes that just came out last year so so I've only been using those oh man so apparently there's all sorts of crazy ducks in here. Oh, okay, I get it. Cause just because, like, with soap, they have all sorts of other ones. They got, like, uh, St. Paddy's Day, Ducker Ball, like a soccer ball, Ducklet, one that looks like a pig. Dude, this is so cool. I didn't even know this existed. Uh, they got a witch. They got... Oktoberfest. All the ducks. 
They got a cookie duck, a Girl Scout cookie duck. They got a concierge. They got a decoy duck. They got a duck or not. They got a lion duck named Roar. They got a sweet duck named Mouse. A mouse duck named Squeaky. Hopefully you guys can see these. Oh my gosh, they got Ducky Graw, Duck Net, Gobble Duck, Duck Out, Duck Star, PD, Duck Pin, like a dolphin, Genie D, Scrubby, Tinsel, a Christmas one, Chester, like a gesture, Ace, a tennis one. Dude, look at this stuff, this is crazy. All these ducks. Sorry, I'm dropping lots of comments here. Yo! Epic made a comeback. Yeah, Epic sort of been fun. Sorry if I'm missing some of these comments. Did I miss the G Fuel? Haha, <laughs> yes you did. Sorry, I did that first. Hope you're doing good, man. I got the Mr. Wilsons and also the only X Factors. Oh shit. That's right, Greg's got everything. That's why he is the collector. Well, there's tons more ducks in here. I guess you guys probably don't care so much about that. Maybe you do, but uh... But yeah, I'm gonna keep it moving. Keep it moving. We got all the ducks here. The duck magazine. That's pretty sick. All right. Now there's something in here. I think I know what Greg was saying that he said he was never gonna get rid of, and it could be this right here. And it is the rocket soap key. So it's shaped like a rocket. It's got the uh, Allen wrench on the bottom, so you can take your plates off. Now that is a main difference between soaps and Epic grind shoes is that you cannot take the plates off. Just like Heelys, they're cemented in, so you can't swap out your plates on Epic Grind shoes, but uh, it doesn't really matter. The plates, I've been, I've been wearing those for uh, over a year now, and they're still doing, still doing okay. Dang, old school. Yeah, dude, all this stuff is like straight from the 90s. This is amazing. But yeah, the Rocket Key. So sick. What do we got here? We got a, oh my god, I got Soap Balloon in here? No way, dude. What? There's a balloon that has the logo on it, soap. I'm going to have to blow that up, maybe, and we'll see. I also don't want to pop it, but hey, soap. Soapshoes.com. Super old balloon from the 90s, so cool. All right, what else we got in this bag? Man, there is a lot of stuff in here, Greg. You are not lying. I mean, it's all little knickknacks, but I love it, dude. This is so cool. All right, we got these little soap. Soap cards. Soap action. Wow, that's from the past. That's right. Two of these. He sent like two of a lot of stuff too, which is so cool. Like all the stickers and these the postcards, everything he sent me a duplicate of, which is really rad. Okay, and then what is this? Holy shit! It's like, I want to use this, but I know I can't. Uh, soap wax bar. It looks like a bar of soap. How fucking rad is that? Maybe this was the thing that he didn't want to uh, get rid of. Do you want to sell some of the stuff? <laughs> oh man, sadly I, there's no way I can sell any of this. Um, yeah, Greg sent me all this stuff from Australia and he paid a lot of money to send it to me and I'm not, I'm not really trying to sell it to make any money either. I'm, I'm literally keeping it as a soap enthusiast myself, just like my soap, uh, fucking smoke scabs that I'm probably never gonna soap again in just because I want to like keep a pair that's like still intact as a collector's item. Yeah, the soap bar, dude. That's what the what it was that you wouldn't get, you didn't think you'd get rid of. Crazy. Do you have another one? Please don't tell me you sent me your only one. That would be gnarly. But either way, I will not use it. I'm not gonna wax stuff with it. This is straight up collector's I'm gonna, I gotta make like a soap shoe display rack like you got, Greg. This is gonna be so cool. I'm so excited already. So much stuff. Okay, let's put some of this back. I'm gonna put some of it back in the bag. I'm gonna bag it back up. Bag up the stuff. Stickers, postcards. God, man. So sick. Alright, I gotta figure out. I got I mean, maybe I'll put them in my soap edit or something, like have a bar of wax that show the soap wax bar and then just use a regular bar. I don't know. But I gotta incorporate this stuff somehow. Oh, 26 red. 26 red. Authentic streetwear. Established 1990. This is Greg's favorite brand, apparel brand. Um, I 
think they had them in the States too, but I honestly wasn't aware of this. But uh, he showed me a lot of their clothes and their stickers, and they look sick. I love the logos they have in here. Um, I almost don't even want to open this either. I think I'm going to leave it sealed, because damn, that's fucking sick. Hell yeah. That's that. I think that might be it. I think that is all the goodies. On the package here in customs, it said there's 15 items. I feel like there's more than 15 items after everything I've looked at, but it might be about 15. But yeah, we got the 26 red stickers. We got the rocket key. We got the soap balloon. We got the soap postcards. We got the soap stickers. We got the soap bar. Literally a bar of soap that's wax for soaping. So sick. And then, of course, the main thing that I've been waiting for and wanting so bad, the soap shoe duck. This is 100% going to my fucking office on my desk. I've got all sorts of like knickknacks and uh, decorations. It's like Ninja Turtles and Ghostbusters, all shit from the 80s and 90s anyways. So this, this duck, he is going, going on my desk display. He's got soapshoes.com on his ass. He's got, dude, I guess you didn't see this uh, gaming art, but it, it says here, if you can see that, it says hatched September 19th, and that is my birthday. I don't know, if, again, I don't know if that's all, they're all hatched on September 19th, or if like Greg personally picked this out for me, but that is fucking awesome, either way. Yeah, the duck, dude, it is fucking rad. I want a duck. <laughs> 26 is a brand from the 90s. Just came back. Yeah, just like Jinko. Never thought I would part with that. The, wax. the paper with the red logo is for the wax. Oh, the paper with the red logo. I see. That makes sense. So it doesn't, like, uh, get wax everywhere. Fuck yeah. Okay, cool. Well... Feel free to the stickers. You got heaps. Okay. Well, in that case, I probably will open them up then and check them out. I just, I do like that. I'm going to keep this little fucking logo thing on it, though, too. But, yeah, in that case, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's open it up. You know what? I can even open this up, I think, uh, carefully. That's where I can reseal it if I really want to. It's got put the staples on it. Peel the staples out. Okay. One side done. Other side to go. I was about to trim my nails. I'm kind of glad I didn't because they're coming in handy right now. without ripping it. Fuck yeah. Okay. Alright, let's see. Let's stick it out here. Did it without ripping it. Well, Greg, I can't thank you enough, man. This is so cool. There's tons of fucking awesome things in here. Uh, I'm very pleasantly surprised. Lots of... <laughs> the, the soap bar wax is so sick. Alright, we got Stoner Cat. He looks like a fucking nug. It's all red-eyed. <laughs> Love it. Oh, then we got the black cat. I mean, they're all, they all look like they're ripped. Which is, which is so cool. Uh, we got the orange cat. Hey. He's got, is that supposed to be 26? Yeah, 26 in his hands, because it's 26 red. Oh, we got 26 red in the pink sticker. Pretty legit. 26 red with the red, orange, and yellow, like a uh, color fade, whatever they call that. There's a name for that. Blanking. And then, of course, oh man, this one's probably my favorite. 26 red, and it's got like the 3D, like blue and red, like it looks like it's like one of those you'd wear those old 3D glasses from the 90s, and it would make it look like it was 3D. Like if you used to watch TV shows, they'd be like, put on your glasses now. It was just literally like a cheesy like cardboard frame with like a red film and like a blue film with like that translucent paper and somehow it would make shit look 3D. That's what this reminds me of. But yeah, that that is it. That is 
all the goodies. Uh, gaming is art since you are here. These are these are what I got. You, you can go back obviously and watch the beginning, but got the G Fuel tubs. Got the my favorite sour blue chug rug, and then I try. I'm gonna try the PewDiePie. So sour cherry, sour blue. So I'm excited. I know it's not officially sour cherry, but I know it tastes like that is what people have said. So one to try. Yeah. Oops. What did I just do? Oh God! What did I do? Ooh. I'm chilling with you. Feel free to use the stickers. Come cool. see everyone. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you everybody for stopping in and watching this live unboxing. This is by far the longest uh, uh, unboxing that I've done, and uh, the most, the one I've been most excited for. I don't know. Getting my Epic Grind shoes and getting the first like G Fuel collector's box. I was pretty excited for those too, but man. Nothing beats like a surprise box. I didn't know what was gonna be in here. The only thing I did know was gonna be is the duck, and it is so sick. But uh, the <clears throat> the bar of soap, the wax bar of soap, unbelievable. Greg's told me he's had uh, that, and uh, I even asked him, I was like, ooh, do you have more of those? And he said, well, I don't know if I can get rid of those. So uh, really appreciate you sending me that, dude. That was really fucking cool, man. Um, I appreciate everything here. All the stickers, the postcards, everything, all the soap number movie, the rocket key. So rad. All stuff, all stuff that I do not have. I don't have any of this. So, uh, I'm glad I got fresh stuff to add to my soap collection. Maybe, uh, you know, I know I'll never be the collector like you, Greg, but uh, I've, now I've got a lot more than a lot of people do. And it's thanks to you, my brother. So much appreciated. That's all I got, everybody. Thank you so much for dropping in. Thank you for leaving all the comments. I see there's people dropping likes. I really appreciate that. Uh, fuck yeah, 90s, you know? Shred for life. I'm still living like I'm in the 90s, even though I'm about to be 40. I don't give a shit. I'm still living like I'm still back in the 90s, and I'm going to do that for as long as I can. Um, I hope everyone has a great night. Peace out, everybody. Shred for life.